In this video, we're going to take a look at an alternative way for someone to receive and store bit seeds or Bitcoin or any other crypto, well, not any other cryptocurrency, but many other cryptocurrencies using an online wallet service that where you can store it online instead of storing it on a computer or a mobile device. At the time I'm recording this, there are no mobile apps for BitSeeds. We are working on that and that will be something that will debut in the future. But for the time being, you do need a desktop or laptop computer to be able to store it on your own. So for those people who maybe have an older computer that maybe isn't compatible or they're using a mobile device and they just don't really use a desktop or laptop anymore, I just wanted to record this lesson. and. Keep in mind, there are some downsides to this, and I always strongly, strongly recommend that you try to store your cryptocurrency, BitSeeds or otherwise, someplace that you have control over as opposed to a website. This is really, this is not recommended as the primary way you should hold your funds, but I am wanting to, I wanted to record this lesson to help give people the option, and it's just a quick and easy way of getting up and running with this. So. What we're going to use, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to a website that's called bittrex.com. And at, at the time that I'm recording this, it's the only place that you can do this, but there will be more places in the future. And Bittrex is what is known as a cryptocurrency exchange. And it's Bittrex is B I T T R E X. And you just want to go there on your web browser. And again, of course, you can do this on a mobile device, not just on a desktop or laptop. And once you're there, you want to register an account. So at the very top, there is a, a link for register, and that will take you to this page. And basically, it's a very simple registration process, like you've probably done before. So you just simply put in your email address, put, create a password, and confirm the password, just in case of a typo. And of course, as always, I'm going to recommend that you use a, a different password for every service just for security reasons and don't use anything simple or easy to guess or a regular word things like that because keep in mind this is money and you need to protect it so just fill out the information and you would check the box to agree to the terms and then type in the number that's displayed in this picture as the captcha to just sort of prove your person and then you would click the sign up button and once you do that you will get an email and you just have to click a link just as you've probably done before in other account setups, just to confirm that's a valid email address. And then that will take you back to Bittrex, and you just want to click the little login link there. It's kind of small, but it's right there in the center. Click that, and that takes you here to the login page. And of course, you simply just fill out your email address, the password you just chose, and you have the option of checking this box to remember you, but keep in mind that if you do this, that means you stay logged in and at least for a while anyway. And if this is a shared computer or device, then people, if they know about it, they could potentially get into your account and then send your funds away somewhere else. So keep that in mind. Make sure you only check the box for Remember Me. If you're going to do it at all, only do it for a, a safe computer that you or device that you know no one else will have access to. And then hit the login button and then you're signed in. So at this point, you want to go up to the very top bar here where it says wallets, click that. And that's going to take you to a list of a long list of different cryptocurrencies that this particular website, this exchange supports. And the top, very top one, of course, is Bitcoin, but BitSeeds is in this list. And the simplest thing you want to do, the easiest way to get there, quickest, is to use this search box up here, click in the box, type in seed, and that will narrow the range down to uh, just bit seeds at this point in time. And then to get the address that you need to be able to receive funds, you would click the plus button here on the left-hand column. It'll pop up a little dialog box here, and you need, the first time only, you'll have to click new address. Takes a moment, and then it creates the address. So at this point, you can just double click on the address or drag your mouse across it. Or on a mobile device, you're going to usually tap and hold and then get the option of, of, of uh, 
selecting all, something like that, depends on the exact device. And anyway, copy it, and then you can paste it into the comment below the video uh, if you're participating in the giveaway when we publish this video, or if you were gonna have someone send you funds, or maybe you had funds on uh, your own wallet on a computer and you wanted to send them here, this would be the same address that you would use for any of those. And of course, this is receive only. It's not, there's no way for anyone to take money from this address, which is again, one of those benefits of cryptocurrency like BitSeeds and Bitcoin. And hope that makes sense and helps. Thanks for watching and we'll continue the BitSeeds lessons in the next video.